time of great debauchery. Humongous oceans of utter filth parade online in the indecent realm of sexual perversion. We cannot continue that the way it is. There will be war, there will be pogroms, there will be mass genocide. All these things must be prevented from occurring if we are to save the better part of the indigenous population of Earth. Porn is an absolute disgrace and an abomination to the eyes of God, I'm sure. Enough reading of the Bible would indicate that he probably wouldn't be too chuffed to see Big Boobs Mahoney being rutted by old Ding Dong Dandy. It's a terrible state of affairs, and everyone involved should be neutralised by a fair God who says what he means and means what he says come the apocalypse. They will be fried like crispy hot wings in the KFC of Eternia under the dark lord of Satan for their willy-nilly, dribbly, bibbly bobbly ways. How grim their sordid displeasures and utter revolt of the senses while we, the voyeurs of perversion, with our ghastly little gentle needs, masturbate furiously over the vicarious desires of banging some milf. It's horrendous. Everyone must be destroyed for these sins and more. We are riddled and riddled and rudded with absolute abuse and sick abominations. Our ideologies of sanity have been warped into an anything goes free for all shit show of utter bollocks. Literally, in this case, bollocks swinging to and fro, sometimes five in a room, with women's bangers going wham, wham, wham against the wall, and you're just there going, Good God, that's someone's child. So anyway, enough shame and embarrassment for the citizens of Earth. This is my pitch to you as a filmmaker. Here's the big concept. Balls of glory. An SAS warrior goes rogue after he, after he sees a loved one involved in an unwitting porn film. And he takes on the porn industry. And it's a massive action-packed shoot-em-up. Involves semi-clad nubiles being caught in the act of their disgusting abominations. And we rattle him with machine guns, and we pop him with sniper rifles because he probably gets the team behind him because he goes to church and he he's a good speaker and he orates to the people and he explains to them while the world is going to hell, the heroes and the believers don't need to do that because they hold true to the word of God. And so like the A-team of God, he builds a defense unit against the cyber world of ubiquitous perversion. And there's a war, and they'll be maybe outnumbered, but we're never outgunned. And it's that kind of mentality all the way through, with wise cracking lines and cool people being awesome. Oh yes, I can see it now. Balls of glory. Fantastic. And I think everyone in the world should chip in a bit of money to see this made for the future for a better world, okay? Look at James Cameron. He gets billions to make films, right? No wonder they're so good. He gets given so much money and time. Gosh, what a world's taken ages. He's probably hand-painted every frame with that kind of cash. No, I'm on benefits because I suck at my job, right? But I'm moralicious. I'm not going to put up with this filth any longer. We need to see balls of glory, right? An action-packed, hilarious comedy about a rogue SAS man taking on the porn industry with explosions and lethal dildos and all manner of weaponry to bring down this sordid shit show of sin. I've said my piece. It would be an awesome movie. Let us make it so. Saying he's come to hell gets me excited, so I'm delighted. Just so frightened because it shows that I'm enlightened freely. As I delight in the truth, some demons don't know as they demand the proof that they can't see. Because God's only chosen.